In 1879, Edwin Hall, an American physicist who worked at the University of Baltimore, opened one interesting event that is in the following. The square angle semiconductor plate is placed into a magnetic field, and to its narrow edges current is connected. This will cause voltage up to several hundreds of millivolts on its wide edges. But because of problems connected with production of such plates, this effect began to be used only 75 years later, and only afterwards, thanks to microelectronics development, it became possible to design a miniature product having all the necessary, a constant magnet and an integrated circuit with a sensitive element. Such a device has a lot of undeniable advantages. Firstly, it's small. Secondly, an electrical signal is square-angled. It means that it immediately gains a definite and constant value, but is not characterized with stick-slip nature. Conventionally, all effect sensors can be divided into two groups, linear output reducers and logic output reducers. The former are usually used for defining short motions and building other more complicated transducers and as a sensitive element of current sensors with galvanic oscillation. The latter are intended for detection of any ferrous object in the sensitive zone of transducer. This function can be used for defining end position of a metal object, as well as rotational speed of impeller or a specialized multipole magnet. And finally, I'd like to point out one more advantage. The main feature in production of whole effect sensors is experience and stability through years. So, and in no other way it's possible to produce high-quality products.